All right, here we go, guys. And it's a, a August weekday, and yeah, I uh, just finished work, my nine to five job, and I'm driving out to Greenport, Eastern Long Island, to meet a young man that defies everything you think about right now when you think of young people. I know when I think of young people, I think of computers and electronic devices, cell phones, iPads, video games, uh, just uh, not really wanting or liking the outdoors. And yeah, they, they may come fishing, and certainly we have enough young young folks who come fishing on my boat. But this young man is something different. It, it's a great story. My good friend, Scott Novick, uh, shared he's family friends with his family. He shared his story with me and I told him, not only do I have to meet him, but I gotta get this on video. I gotta put it up on YouTube. Uh, young man's name is Rob, uh, will be at the ramp in Greenport, the, the town ramp in about 10 minutes. And uh, he's supposed to meet me there soon. I'm probably gonna beat him by a few minutes, but I can't wait for you guys to meet this kid and hear his story. I think it's remarkable. Wonder what you think. We'll check back in in a minute. All right, we're on the boat. Yeah. We're here with Rob. Rob, tell everyone your age. I am 16. He is 16. And, uh, you know, I tried to get it with the drone. I don't know how well it came out. He brought this boat by himself from Montauk in the evening. Sun is going down. It's, it's, it's pretty dark outside. West is that way. Um, it's going to be nightfall soon. We're not going to take long because I don't want to be the reason uh, right. you hit a rock in the, or something okay. in the middle of the night driving back 25 miles you said yep. to Montauk you mapped it here he's on a 22c hunt and he's got incredible stories he has been fishing solo on this boat for tuna yeah. and you brought the boat from where to Montauk by east yourself east Massapequa east Massapequa left the dock at 3 45 in the morning and when this was last week this is last week and you stopped for tuna on the way yep I uh, stopped. I was east of the uh, Coimbra at the time, and uh, so you went. Th for those who don't know, how far is that out? From my house, it's 68 miles. Okay, and how far out in the ocean are you offshore? I was about 40 miles by yourself on a 22 foot yep. sea hunt. And where's your life jacket? I got them right up here. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see yeah. that. I see the tea bag up <laughs> there, but I think you should be wearing one. I'll, I'll stop editorializing now. <laughs> but it was an amazing story, and I told my friend Scott I had to meet this kid. I mean, that's just nuts. That's just nuts. And and what do your parents feel about this? My dad couldn't believe it. He was telling me that the other day that... He... Wait, wait, let's take a step back. Okay. First of all, how did your father even allow you to bring the boat from East Massapequa to I'm Montauk? St I'm still trying to figure that out myself, but... Uh... You obviously don't have a driver's license. No, I just have my permit. You have your permit, but you have a boater's certificate? Yes. You do. We're 15 and up, you have to have one. Yeah. And there are no restrictions, actually, on driving a boat... Right? We're not going to no, get no you in trouble with the law, are we? Nope. No, no restrictions. Just cojones of steel here doing yeah. that. I'm afraid to go offshore in a 32-foot boat with friends. Wow. <laughs> and you sent me some clips, which we're going to show, uh, of those. And I think they're short clips, but mm -hmm. we're going to show them of you 
single handing two tuna on a 22 foot sea hunt and this is typically this is the bx series no this is the ultra series. oh this is the ultra series it's still a bay boat yeah, it's not an offshore yeah. boat so 3 a.m you left east massapequa was in which is in nassau county for those of you that know long island and you went to the coimbra coimbra how do you say yeah, it i don't know yeah. i say the coimbra the coimbra you tuna fished, then you drove the boat to Montauk Point. So I, I'm presuming you came around the point. Yep. I came and how were the point. seas? It was beautiful out that day. Okay. Palm seas, Murph, Murphy's nice, cool Law. When, it was when, great. when I just try to fish in the bay, it's it's four footers. We had a trip <laughs> Sunday. We got as far as Plum Island, and there were four footers. Oh, yeah, and my I, guys said, "Turn around." They didn't want anything to I do. I got with to Shagwan Point that day. I had to turn around. I fished north side that day. I did pretty well. I heard Scott told me you limited on the north side. Yep. That's amazing. And you limited today on the south side. I limited today. It took me Don't two hours. Don't say spots. because Because Rick will be watching this. Oh, and Rick, wanting... Rick, Rick already knows the spots. All right, well. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. You, Scott, <laughs> you told me, and I know that's where Rick and Skinner have been fishing. So, mm -hmm. um, Yeah, but just an amazing story. And we'll, we'll show the clips, like I said. I personally, you know, when I, I, when I was coming out here, I did a little intro. And I said, in this day and age, everyone your age is infatuated with video games video with games. with phones with pads with nobody does stuff outside when i was your age which was a very long time ago uh, you know 30 <coughs> 33 years ago we were outside every day i spent my whole summers out here we were outside every single day playing sports fishing doing all that but even then you know we didn't own a boat growing up my uncles did but there's no chance i would have been allowed to even take it out in the bay or the sound forget 40 miles offshore yeah. or whatever you said it was Forget driving it from East Massapequa to Monto. Forget bringing it. It's almost nighttime and you're bringing it from Montauk to Greenport. So for those that don't know, that's not a five minute ride. Oh, it's, no. it's, it's 25 miles. You're going through the Block Island Sound, then Gardner's Bay, and now you're finally in Peconic Bay. So you pass three bodies of water to get yep. here. So, so how did this happen? When was your first solo trip? This um, actually was my first solo trip. Actually, before that, there was the hot uh, tuna bite off of East Rockwood Beach. I tried that solo a few times. I, I didn't get any, unfortunately. But uh, this was the farthest I ever went offshore all by myself. Jesus. I've done the uh, trip before, obviously the- uh, uh, Wait, and yeah. do your parents know what's involved or do they think it's just- Oh, they know. They know. My dad knows. Yeah. Okay. And and what kind of safety gear do you have on the boat besides kind of safety gear? I got about I got a whole bunch of stuff. I have this man overboard device okay. over yep. here. Yep. That means if if you there it's Bluetooth, so if you get far away from the engine or you fall off the boat and it hits water, it automatically shuts the engine yep, off. That's exactly what it does. Okay. I have a bunch of safety equipment up here, I got the life jackets, I have a flare on the boat. Okay. I have uh, flags. Okay. Okay, I'm I, I'm I'm waiting to hear, it, but it's a bay boat. You're not gonna have a, uh, you're not gonna have a, a life raft in here. Yeah. But anyway, you probably saw a lot of boats out yeah, there. Yeah, there was a lot of boats out there. Were people shocked when they saw a kid on a 22 foot sea hunt? Nah, I was I fished away from uh, most boats. Okay, all right, very Skinner esque. All right. And when did you start? Like, when did you guys get this boat? Have you had it? We've most... had it for a while. I got it. It was about like 150 hours, and uh, right now I'm up to 872. You guys bought it used with 150, and now it's at 800. Yep. Okay. And mostly you doing it, like, does your dad fish? Like, how did you get into the sport? Uh, my dad, he used to take me out when I was a kid all the time. Wait, I mean, it, for the record, you're still a kid, but continue. <laughs> And, was, and it gets younger. very shallow in here, so. Okay, I'm keeping an eye out on that. Yeah, you're four and a half feet, you're fine. I, I'd be worried in my boat, but you're fine in this. 15. Oh, it's that, okay. Oh, I'm, you know what, I'm looking at the miles per hour. Shows you my seamanship here. <laughs> Continue. Your so, dad. We always used to go fishing when I was little. Where he used to, sometimes we'd go play hooky from school and whatnot, and go fishing, and uh, got older. And then when I was 10, I got my first boat. It was a 11 foot inflatable. Okay. I grew out of that pretty fast. And then I had a. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're going offshore by yourself at 16. I'd, I'd imagine the 11 foot inflatable, even at fetus, would have grown old really fast. But <laughs> then anyway. I, then my next one, I had a 13 foot whaler, which we just sold this year. And uh, did you did you get more than what you paid for it? <laughs> uh, no, I got the same price. You got the same price. Okay, but you, you owned it five years and you got the same price. No, I I, I got that when I was twelve. Okay, so you owned it four years. Okay. Yep. And then now I'm onto this thing. This is 
my first full year with it. Nice. And what do you want to do when you get older? I want to be a pilot. You want to be a pilot. That's a smart idea. I was going to, if you started telling me you want to be a charter guy, I was going to yeah. tell you. I want to retire and be a charter okay, guy. Okay, perfect. That's, that's smart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Make some money, save it, and then you can charter and live off the chartering exactly. while your money works for you in the background. Exactly. That's how you do it. That's my plan. All right. Well, anything else you want? Do you have a YouTube channel? What do you want to promote? I don't, but I do want to start one. I am getting a GoPro soon. Haven't figured out which one yet. All right, get get this one. This is the 9. Oh, uh, that is the 9? This is the 9. It has the front screen. Or you're going to... Folks watching this are going to hear it too. Just get it for the battery life. It, it weighs a, a drop more than the 8, but you will burn through batteries like crazy right. with the 8. The 9 is awesome. All the right. 9 is awesome. And I want to get back only because what's what's the time, Rob? 6:43. It's 6:43 p.m. You got what? 40 minutes to get home. 40, 45 minutes to go. Yeah, and I I want you to be able to pull into Montauk while there's still light. I don't right. I don't want to be responsible for for you know you hitting a log and be careful. You know we had all that wind. Yeah. There could be debris in the water. I, I like I'm, so I'm talking I've to been, somebody uh, who just went 40 miles offshore, but <laughs> so far I've been pretty good on the debris. I haven't seen any yet. Okay. All right. Well, there you go, guys. Rob, oh, what about Instagram or anything like that? Anything uh, you want to promote? My Instagram is underscore Robert underscore service underscore. Okay, you like the underscores, huh? Yeah, I made it when I was younger. Okay. <laughs> it was the cool thing Well, we'll, we'll that'll pop up as you're talking. We'll, we'll include that in there. Right. Uh, you know, send this kid a, a uh, request on Instagram. Uh -huh. Crazy stories. I couldn't believe it. I, you know, when Scott told me the story, I said, oh, yeah, he was with his dad, right? And he was yeah. driving. No, no. He was by himself. I'm like, no, he wasn't by himself. He goes, no, he was by himself. <laughs> yep. And he didn't tell me the boat. So when you oh, pulled you up, I still wasn't sure. I, I thought it, I was waiting for like a twin engine boat or, but this is a 22 <laughs> foot. I mean, it's a beautiful boat, but I, it, it's, it's a 22 foot gets baby boat. With a, yeah, it gets the job Fishing done. The Just be careful. Just be careful. Don't be a cowboy. Safety is my number one priority. Okay. All right. All right, there you go, guys. That, that's Rob. Um, we'll include here at the end a couple clips of, of him solo bringing in. And they're off your cell phone, I presume, yeah, right? Yeah, I actually, I had my phone right on the stand like I do now. Yeah, I, I see the, the vantage point. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I don't know how the quality is going to be when it converts, but you, you'll get to see it. Thanks, Rob, for the time. I know you drove a long way. Yeah, anytime. Um, yeah. It's great being here. Yeah, yeah, great excited. meeting you. I, I'm, yes, well, I, I don't know. I should have brought Skinner, but. Uh, yeah, that would have been even better. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Even wow, better. <laughs> Not just as good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Better. All right. All right. Well, you're right. I would have said the same thing. <laughs> All right, guys. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to check out Rob's Instagram. Subscribe.
yards. Yeah. Look at that. Number two. 